Kathy Hughes, the woman in the AFC who has been gunning for the books at the National Communications Network, NCN, said that as a public company, it must declare the full details of the investigation. With this not yet available, she was hesitant in making an outright call for Fuzzy Satar and Martin Gulseran to be handed over to the police for what she called fraudulent conversion. Satar, the CEO, has resigned, while Gulseran, the production manager, was suspended for eight weeks. Gulseran has admitted to accepting a check written in his name from telephone company GT&T. The AFC is calling for full disclosure and that the report of the probe is made public. The AFC strongly believes that there is now a belated cover-up attempt to protect the former CEO and others at NCN from facing the full brunt of the law. So this started with us raising it in the parliament, in the budget. Um, I don't have to go over the process we've come to. And we're now at the stage where we need to know what the findings are. We need to know the scale of, the, of um, you know, any misappropriation. And whoever is culpable needs to be dealt with as the law provides, yes. AFC engineered a slashing of NCN's annual subvention in this year's budget when it was revealed that the company raked in some $500 million in profit last year on its own. President Donald Ramatar, who is also the Minister of Information, launched an investigation which led to the revelations of financial irregularities. AFC parliamentarian Moses Nagamutu weighed in on the issue when the party held a press conference earlier today. Here was Mr. Satar as the head of the NCN in the street, very boisterous, very demonstrative, protesting against the withholding of uh, the subsidy for NCN mm -hmm. and has just caught himself in the center of the storm, in the eye of the storm, dealing with a glaring malfeasance uh, at, the, um, at the, the entity that raises the concern how long has it been going on? How much? If this entity comes with a begging bowl to the taxpayer year after year asking for money, then at least, at a minimum, this entity ought to have shown the Guyanese people that it deserves their support and deserves the bailout and deserves their empathy. The AFC also wants NCN to say how much money it collected for the flurry of advertisement by the ruling PPP during the elections campaign. The party wants to know who paid over the money and to whom it was paid, and evidence of which accounts the money went into. Mark Moore reporting for Capital News.